costing was the answer. But why do that when we can pick the lock for experience? Anything in here? Aha, a safe and some ammo. Shotgun shells, a ripper. That thing's awesome. Metal box, some cigarettes, more ammo, 556. Five, oh, I'm no longer well rested. First aid, blood pack. Yeah, I'll take everything. All right, now let's open Grady's safe. go. Naughty Nightwear. Ooh, but it gives you a plus 10 to speech and plus 1 to luck. Sure, I'll take it. Anything else in here? Oh, yep, we got some more ammo. Or mines. Mines are always good. Metal box, no. Toolbox, any scrap metal? Nope. Not in here. Free war money. All right, let's get out of here. What the? I'm only going to ask you this one time. Give me the Naughty Nightwear. What the hell? Where'd you come from? I'm keeping it and I'd advise you to back off before I get angry. Wrong answer, dead meat. How about you pay me for it? I warned you I was only going to ask once. Now I'm going to take it from you. Are you? Um, you're not shooting. Hey! Okay. Where? Later, lug nut. Nice crit. You got anything interesting on you? 32 rounds, that's it. So, okay. Let's check out Grady's note and see what the hell this is up with. Grady's last recording. If you're listening to this tape, then my brains are splattered all over a wall somewhere, and you've got a job to do. You need to retrieve the package and get it safely to Ronald Lauren and Gertershade. Tell him Grady sent you. To get the package, you'll need the key. I've stashed it inside an old fire hose case in some maintenance closet at Marigold Metro Station. The key will unlock the safe that contains the package. Look for the room marked by a spinning light. You can't miss it. Good luck. And hopefully, they won't find you too. Sounds like they found me and weren't able to do much of a much. So, we've got another little mini quest. It won't pop up on the map marker or anything, but we'll probably get a note for it. Oh, what's up, Ant? Man, come on. Get to where I can shoot you. Yeah, like that. I don't much care for being on fire, thanks. Okay, eh, yeah, let's keep going this way. Uh, this will probably... Back to the map. Yeah, this is just gonna take us back to the uh, main station. But what about over here? Ooh, an exit. Let's see where this goes. Anything over here? No. Collapsed tunnel. Anything over here? No. Falls Church! It's so cool. I know where Falls Church is. It's uh, about an hour and a half or so west of here. East. East of here. East. All right, and we've discovered the Falls Church Metro. And, eh, let's keep going. Let's go back inside. But it's always good to discover new locations. Okay, back in we go.
Okay, so is this the right direction? Sure it is. Okay. Let me in. Ah! Phil, you startled me. You really Likewise. mustn't creep up on people like that. Sorry, I didn't expect to bump into anyone alive down here. That is precisely why this is the ideal place for my work. Do you realize you're trampling about in a delicately balanced and highly sensitive experimentation area? Experiments? What do you mean? My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain. Oh wait! I'm a scientist! How marvelous! My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. I intend to generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a pre-birth induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? Oh, I see. You're trying to make them smaller over time by injecting the eggs. My word! You understand perfectly! How marvelous! Um, well crap, I'm running out of time, so I'll just end it here. This has been your Funky Honky. Stay tuned for part five, and I hope you'll see me next time.